And now we're going to talk about types of hits. Loads of different hits we have in ground net because we have 360 degrees. And the more variety we have as a hitter, both in range, push, open, pull, and in projection, low, high, the better of a hitter we are. Because sometimes it will require us to hit a pull, back towards me. Sometimes it will require me to hit a push, that's where the open gap is, and sometimes it will require me to hit there or there. Different times, there are different shots that are required of me as a hitter. So I need to be able to have variety in my game as a hitter, again, both in range and projection. <laughs> and now, to best demo this, I have a few more balls. If anyone have a little hand, they just throw them in, so I... Thank you. <laughs> okay, you can see, this cork is divided into one, two, three, four. If I am the hitter right now, my hips facing this way, a push shot is that I was to push this ball forward between these first two balls. Open shot is if I was now going to hit it within this 90 degree quadrant or within inside this 90 degree quadrant. So righty open, lefty open. And then this back quarter, I'm gonna hit this ball, hit this ball up between those two in this 90 degree quadrant with my hips facing this way. It's now going to be a pull shot, also known as a wrap. This is when I'm wrapping or pulling the ball back behind my body, either right handed or left handed from where my hips are. As I, the hitter, rotate around, it rotates with me. So just because I was here, I hit forward, push. To the sides, open. Behind me, pull. And as I now shuffle around, and now I perform my hit, this is the push, because this is in front of me. Righty open, lefty open, pull. Okay? So, depending on where the hitter's hips are, is the type of shot we are choosing, okay? So, however, I move around this circle, push, pull, open, push, open, pull. It's always because my push is in front of me, my pull is behind me, and my open drop to the side. Those are our primary shots in round nets. Now, we can hit in those directions in different ways. We can hit, just as we've talked about, in regards to over the net hitting and hitting it low. Right? That's one way I can get it out of the way. Pass me that ball, please. Another way, thank you. Another way I can get it that way. Oh, I could do a flick if I wanted. And I can hit it too now. So that's now still an open. It's still an open. It's just a flick I can. Okay? And if now, for some reason I wanted to hit that way, but I didn't want it to, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do a flick, I want to do a drop, it's a drop open. And for the last one, if I wanted to go in that direction, but I wanted to change the projection, and I wanted to do a boom, that is now a boom open. So the direction, it's always the same because it's always linked up to my hips. The only thing that changes is the method I use to get it there. 
it's important as us as a hitter that we learn not just this range in regards to can we hit a push with both hands? Can we hit an open with both hands? Can we hit a pull with both hands? It's also important that we can choose, okay, what type of hit in that direction are we going to choose? Because sometimes I'm going to have to choose to boom and use that projection. And sometimes I want to hit laterally low and hard. Sometimes I might open a flick because I, I, that's my preference of choice. So it's really important that we are aware of these different types of hits.